I'm going to show you how to make a nice, creamy, full of flavour mashed potato. And to feed four people, you basically need one potato per person. So that kind of amount will feed four. It's roughly sort of 900 grams. Now, the type of potato I'm using is a Maris Piper. You could use Maris, you could use Desiree, you could use King Edward. You want something that's quite flowery, something that's going to break up when you cook them, nothing waxy. So when it comes to mashing, you could use one of these. This is a potato ricer. You get a nice, fine result from that. But if you don't have one, use the traditional masher. That's what I'm going to use today. So let's peel the potatoes. Start by removing the skin with a potato peeler. And then cut the potatoes into kind of medium, even-sized chunks. And this is really important, otherwise they all cook at different times. Next, place the chunks into a large pan of cold, salted water. And make sure the pan is large enough to accommodate the potatoes. Then bring them up to the boil. Turn it down and then simmer for around 15 to 20 minutes until the potatoes are soft. OK, so I think the potatoes are nearly ready. And a good way to check is just to put a knife into one of them. And it runs through nice and smoothly with no resistance. Just breaks up, they're done. So these are ready and they're ready to drain. Pour them into a colander and allow them to steam for a moment or two to remove any excess moisture. And then return the potatoes back to the pan. So these potatoes are now ready to mash. It's really important that you put them over a low heat to keep the potatoes from going cold, because if they go cold, they get really kind of gluey and starchy. So I'm just going to start mashing them really gently, just to break them up a little. And then what you want to do is just pull them to one side, so you've got half the pan of mash, and the other half you can top up with your butter and your milk. So now we can add the butter. Push that to the one side that I've pushed the potato from, and then in with some milk. And the milk kind of varies a lot, to be honest. Uh, you might need more, you might need less, and just keep an eye on it. If you need to add more, just, just a little splash. But you don't want it too runny and you don't want it too stiff. So the idea is that you're warming up the milk and the butter to the point that you can then mix it together. If you were to add cold butter and cold milk to the warm mashed potato, that wants to set it and go starchy and gluey. OK, so the milk and the butter are now warmed, and then just simply beat the two together. And you don't want to over mash it either because that again is going to bring out the starch and make the potato gluey. So at this point you could add a number of things. Grated cheese, creme fraiche, roasted garlic, even mustard. All would taste really, really nice. Right, this is ready to serve up. Piping hot, creamy and really simple. That's classic mashed potato.